Today we're going to talk about spring carrier lawn. The first thing you're going to want to do is take and thatch it. There's a couple ways you can thatch a lawn. You can either do it by hand with a leaf rake or with a power rake and I've chosen to use a gas power rake and what I've done is it's a little hard to see but I went over this lawn oh about three ten foot strips and what I've done is brought up the thatch from the lawn and it's a thatch is a build up of the grass that you cut over the years or over the course of the summer and over the course of two or three years and what it does is it breaks down and goes into your lawn and sometimes it can't break down quick enough so you've got to take and, and remove it from the lawn and a half inch layer of thatch can really de uh, be detrimental to the lawn because the lawn needs air movement and it also can harbor insects and diseases so what you're going to want to do is if you use a power rake when you're all done you're going to want to rake that thatch off of the lawn if you don't want to take and rake it, you can always use your walk behind mower with a bagger and take it off that way. And after you're done thatching your lawn, it, it becomes a perfect time to reseed because you're going to have little slits from this machine. You can kind of see on the bottom the metal, the metal knives and those make slits in the lawn so it makes the grass uh, seed really easy to get down into the lawn and germinate. But before you do that, you're going to want to take and fertilize your lawn. And in the spring, you're going to want to get a balanced four-step fertilizer program. And the first bag you're going to put on about this time of the year is step one. And it's a pre-emergent crabgrass killer with a fertilizer in it. And you're going to want to put it down uh, maybe before rain if you don't have sprinklers so it could get into the ground. The only thing you're going to want to do though is if you're going to seed, you're going to want to wait about two weeks because if you try to do it any sooner than that, the product will be in the lawn and it, will allow, and it won't allow the grass seed to germinate. Another thing that you're going to want to watch out for, and it's a little early now, but in a couple weeks when the weeds start growing, you're going to want to make sure that you take care of those. There's several ways you can do it. Hose-on sprayer, um, this happens to be a bonide mix and spray. It's real easy, you hook it to your garden hose, you put the chemical in and go ahead and spray it. Uh, ortho, we, uh, we've got a ready to use one. You put a couple of batteries in the handle and you can take and spray the weeds with that. But it's real important that you, that you take care of that because otherwise the weeds will overtake your lawn and you'll have a mess. 